couple of weeks ago, my daughter asked me if I could make this project for her. So I grabbed my chainsaw, headed for the wood pile, and looked for a suitable log for this project. Stay tuned if you want to see how I made it. <laughs> Okay, I got the piece of hickory on my sawmill. I'm um, getting ready to flatten one side. The base is going to face down. Um, don't have to have a sawmill for this. I used a joiner last year on a similar project. Just takes, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 passes to get a nice flat on it. So we're going to speed it up with the sawmill. little flat spot for the base. Here yeah, we're going to move into the barn for this next part where I'm going to get a workout. So now we're just going to debark this thing. Get it nice and smooth on the outside. Just going to be using a draw knife on this to debark it. I'm not sure I should have chose uh, hickory as the wood. So maybe I'll just sort of debark it. <laughs> Most of the bark. Okay, that's what we got so far. Sitting nice and flat on there. Uh, even the bark on the hickory is tough, but uh, I don't. It'll just add to that rustic look. So I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to take it back up to the house. Um, I'm going to cheat and use my milling machine up there. I could use a router, but it's going to be a lot easier on the milling machine. I'm just going to clamp it down and then hog this out. So it'll probably take a fraction of the time of setting up the uh, router. All righty, I got to set up on the milling machine. So now I'm going to hog out the middle here. I didn't want to bore you guys to death, but this is my last pass here. Went about uh, two inches deep. A little stringy because it is green wood, obviously, so it's hanging up on the bit a little bit. But the milling, milling machine works awesome for this kind of stuff. Digital readout helps too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and 
start sanding on this thing. I tried to uh, remove a little bit more of the bark. That was fun. On hickory, it's just as hard on the bark as it is uh, the hardwood. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that good. So that's kind of the look she was going for, something rustic. Um, so it took me, I don't know, probably two hours, if that, to make the, uh, using the sawmill and the uh, milling machine is kind of like cheating, but I have both of them, so why not? If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.